ball. Don't hesitate, just fire. The moment Shane tries to punt Randy using the left leg is the moment you know Randy's going to catch him into the RKO. You can see it five miles away. Wow. Also attempted copyright Good job. Shane's feeble attempt at using the force. No. Jack Swagger indeed is no longer an unknown rookie. Just take out the rookie part and you got the perfect description. Jack hailing the WrestleMania sign Adolf Hitler style. No! Bastard. But how about we discuss this and My mom wants to take me to a Holocaust Museum? Jack Swagger and why? The moment fans chat for other wrestlers is the moment you know they're not into this match. And to be honest, I don't blame them for this case. Yeah. This feels like just your average filler match, which is sad for the ECW title. Which is cool. Christian says he wants the winner of this match tonight. Christian returns after being gone in a rival company for a few years, yet he thinks that he can just get a random undeserved title no. shot just because. Which foreshadows all the gold WWE gives to old partners. Thanks, members. Christian. All I know is to our left used to be the Raw announce table. It is no longer there. Ty Grisham randomly picking up a destroyed announce table as if that even matters. It doesn't matter. That was like... Ten, that was like five minutes ago. Because it was the SmackDown announce table that was destroyed in the previous match, not the Raw table. Finley's failed attempt at rolling up Jack. Oh well, maybe next time, assuming there is one. Oh. If anything, Hornswoggle's presence cost Finley the ECW championship instead of helping him win it, as you can see from this distraction. There's no reason for a child to be out here. Hornswoggle's just short. He's not Fuck. a freaking child. He has a freaking goatee. No. This cameraman is addicted to Shawn Michaels' prey. I put you on top of a nearly unconscious John Cena. And decided to take all the time in the world before realizing that a referee was needed at ringside to help you win. Wow. All or nothing match. <laughs> all or nothing? Well, what the hell? Okay. Here, but now you're literally labeling the match as an all or nothing match? Does it have different stipulations or ways to win compared to your average singles match or something? Because this is just your average singles match. The biggest match of his life. This is the biggest match Why? of his no, life. Why? No, it's not. Sign telling the audience at home to look at it. Well, guess what? Still. I looked at it, and now I'm sending your sign. So there. If anything, JBL was the one committing the one mistake. That Why are you taunting him? This is the villain's greatest goddamn weakness. The referee is doing everything in his power to get JBL out of the corner. Except actually count him like he's supposed to. Watch it, watch it. Heel wrestler attempts to get his opponent disqualified so he can escape with a victory cliche. What? Just call it a cross face, you moron. Somewhere, Hunter is probably laughing his ass off because he likely pranked Sean into thinking doing that unnecessary flip out of the ring will actually give him more strength and momentum. No. Guaranteed there's one more super kick after JBL's dealt with. Stop your cheerleading, Jerry. Fuck off. You're my striker. The fact that the referee didn't call for the disqualification after Rebecca Hickenbottom, a bystander in the crowd, might I add, attacked JBL Where the fuck is she? Oh, she's Sean's wife. Ah, Sean hit the camera, whereas the cameraman is a dick. Oh, that's Sean's wife. Is there anything? God damn, she's smoking. Thank God that didn't happen, but still, that's the dumbest thing. Why would you say that to a 60 plus year old man at that point? Jerry Lawler bringing in a suicide joke during a PG show. Good job. Previously on something we already saw less than two hours ago. Pre match assault by someone who's not even supposed to be here. As much as I thought it was awesome for Ace to take advantage of opportunity in the biggest way here, I feel really bad for Kofi Kingston. Qualifying for the biggest match in his career, and he immediately gets taken out of the yeah. equation just so Edge can win another world That's title. That's bullshit. But still, you can't deny that this was one of the best examples of Edge being the ultimate. That's why he was nicknamed that. This is somehow legal. Why isn't there security getting to the door and trying to pry Edge out of the cage? WWE just lets anyone enter a match, even if they viciously steal the chance from a wrestler who actually deserved the spot. <laughs> Rey Mysterio's punch to the glass is so powerful that it sets off mm. the pyrotechnics. I didn't know Rey Wow, had much that's pretty good, Rey. I'm happy I saw you at the Rumble. No, Michael, not mm. even a sudden change with the participants changes the rules. Fuck! Well, there's no point in Yo. resetting them. An Rule. Elimination Chamber match is still Damn it. Elimination Chamber match. I hate, I hate when they change rules. The match is already good. And the 10 second spurkin' time. Why? Chris was already starting to fall before Ray could successfully connect his flip over the ropes. 
Ow, oh, how did Ray survive that? Oh, no, how did he survive not getting pain? Just doing a routine check on these chains to make sure they're in good shape. Yep, things appear to be normal. Carry on. Michael Cole would be great as the fuck? Kane staring Edge down and hammering on the chamber glass feels better. Knowing Kane never gets his chance to take down Edge. So. so that would make this his sixth elimination chamber match, which is incorrect because he has been in four previous chamber matches, making this one his favorite. Wait, he wasn't in the 2006 version. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is just hilarious because Ray runs out the ropes and only manages to kick Kane just a few inches on the floor. Yeah. Well, it's not like that sort of thing has happened before where other small guys eliminate the bigger guys. True. Also, can we say that um, Mike Knox was his name? Foreshadow Killian Dane? I'm not lying. He foreshadowed Killian Dane. Well, that was just awkward. Or maybe he is Killian Dane. No shit, really? Edge attempted to put his hair into a ponytail. Doesn't have any elastics with him, though, so why bother doing that? Who cares? It's the fucking chamber match. That's the second time in this match that the line salt was countered. I've said it before, but I don't think Chris successfully connected that move at all throughout 2009. Makes me wonder why he even bothers. Because why not? But nothing. So just call the match. Michael Cole just foreshadowed John Cena voicing Ferdinand eight years later. Oh no. To all who say John's never been buried in his career, <laughs> the same, you gotta say, well, hey, into the oh yeah. Into the spear was one of the coolest moments of this match, and an awesome way to take out the champion. Oh, that's if good. If you're participating in this match, then I am honestly removing another two sins because for the remaining five minutes of this match, you can feel the intensity between these two trying to become the world heavyweight champion. That's why these two are always fun to watch. Yeah, that, title they should do. Like I don't think the event never got that uh, stinger. He's winning. Not. If Edge was on Raw, then you two wouldn't be questioning his participation in this match at all, except for the assault on Kofi earlier. Yeah. What use would pinning Edge again do if he kicked out the first time? Wow. Nine one six. Stupid. You know what? Wait. Despite me disagreeing with Edge being in this match, I'll still remove a number of sins for him being the first guy to compete in two consecutive elimination chamber matches in one night. Entered the event as WWE champion, left the event as world heavyweight That's champion. That's fantastic. What the fuck do you think he is? Jesus. Chain biting. Oh, right. What? A bonus? Two superstars will start the match. Oh, Jesus Christ, so many sins is going on. Oh, God. Can I just dance with the down with the song? Please? What the fuck? Whoa, looks like I may have over exaggerated this a little bit. Yeah. You see that coming, did ya? Need any more proof that these videos are not to be taken seriously? <laughs> okay. Friendly reminder for you, Christian. Never, I repeat, never thin Elimination Chamber 2015. Don't fucking do it.